So Go High Level gives you the ability to add staff members or team members, uh, VAs. You can add your clients to your sub-accounts, right? You, you can add people onto the account. And there are two ways to go about doing this. One is done on a sub-account level, and this would be adding people uh, to one specific sub-account. Or you can go to the agency view, and you can add people as agency users. So when would you use agency and when would you use a sub-account? So if you have, if you want to add someone, let's say you're adding a VA to call through all of your leads for every single one of your sub-accounts, then you would come in here and you would add them from the agency level and you would give them access under user roles to all of the sub-accounts that you have or all the sub-accounts that you want them to call through uh, or to manage, right? Now, the rest of this, uh, there are some more settings inside the sub-account level, so let's go over that and we'll actually walk through everything we saw right there. So, let's enter one of these sub-accounts. And now what we're doing is we're going to hit settings, we're going to hit my staff, and we're adding a team member uh, or an employee, a VA, a client, whatever, to this one specific sub-account. Okay, so how we do that is we just hit add employee. Under user info, we'll fill out all their information. And when they, uh, when we submit this and we get them added, they'll actually receive an email with a login link and they can change their password from there. Um, so you don't have to actually send them over their login information. It will automatically be emailed once their account is created. Uh, if you want to connect them to a calendar, you can do that. So this would just be a calendar that you've created um, on Go High Level. And if you don't know how to set up a calendar yet, just watch the calendar section of the course. User permissions. <clears throat> this is what the uh, what the user is allowed to do. So you can turn certain things off if you don't want them to change any websites, if you don't want them to edit the funnels. Um, I don't know. If you want them to view the, the workflows but not edit them, you can do that. Or if you just want to remove workflows completely, you can do that, obviously. Um, so this is just editing permissions. And roles is very important because Go High Level has a bug, and they've had this bug ever since you could add staff. And for whatever reason, they're not fixing it. But what the bug is, and it's very important to know this, is if you add someone as an admin and you want to turn off workflows, what they can do because they have admin access is they can create another user and they could that user that they're creating they can just give them access to these workflows and then sign in on that new user that that they created so if you give them admin access they do have the ability to create a user that has max permissions which can then go in there and do whatever they want right so if you want to uh, remove permissions from from somebody then make sure you're giving them user access. Otherwise, they can just do that workaround um, and gain access to it. Call in voicemail settings. Honestly, just leave this set up with the phones. Um, th there's really no need. There's no reason to come in here. Unless you have a very specific use case, there's no reason to come in here and um, change the call settings for each specific user. Now, user availability and calendar, uh, calendar configuration. This is very similar to like if you were setting up somebody adding a team member on Calendly. Basically, what you're doing is when you set up calendars, and we'll go over this more in the calendar section, but when you're setting up calendars, you can add team members to that calendar. And this is where you would actually, uh, this is where you could set them up on this, right? But you could set up, this specific user to take calls through Google Meets or Zoom, which we would have to connect. Um, and then the meeting location would obvi obviously fill out with what you do. So we can select phone. Here's this. You would select the user's time zone and then build out their availability um, based on their schedule. Right? So you can run appointments through here. Okay. Now, once you have this all set up and by the way, we'll go over more of this in the calendar section. Um, but once you have this all set up, you would just hit save. And then once you hit save, the user is going to get that email uh, with login information, which they can change their password um, once they log in. 